Hi guys, welcome to my channel where we talk about everything from tech to films and all the fun stuff in between. In today's video, I'm going to do something for the first time ever on my channel. As mentioned in my last video, a couple of manufacturers have got in touch with me asking if I'd be interested to test their accessories. I have decided to choose this brand Easy Act as one of the first ones after looking at their portfolio on Amazon and the surplus of positive reviews which they have from hundreds of satisfied customers. Added to that, I also did come across this brand before on Amazon when I was searching for third-party accessories and cases for iPads. So after an exchange of emails, they have sent me this keyboard case to test out and post out my thoughts. Before we begin, I would like to mention that this is not a paid review and even though I did not purchase this case, I would be totally honest about my opinion. And this is how it's going to be on my channel, guys. I would like to give you my honest and impartial opinion about every product that I review here. So that bit is done. Now let's unbox this thing. As you can see, the manufacturer has actually put effort in designing a decent packaging complete with the branding. The back has a little info about their company and then the product features. This keyboard case also comes with an 18 month warranty, which is really a nice touch. The case retails for $29.99 on Amazon. I will link it down below if you wish to check it out. Let's unbox this. Decent effort in terms of presentation here. Okay, now that really feels good in hand. I wasn't expecting this material, but it really feels good. It's got this nice patterns texture to it and it feels nice in hand. And take a look at all the cutouts, allowing access to the port, speakers and microphones. Then it opens up like a folio, the flap opens and then the case. You can see the right camera cutouts for the 2020 iPad Pro. And then next you got instructions And then the charger cable, it's micro USB, not USB-C. And then the keyboard is in here. Let's get it out of the wrapper. Okay, the keyboard itself feels light. Let's take a look at the case. It's got the holder bit which holds your iPad in place and is made of flexible silicon and not hard plastic. I like this very much as it makes it easier to get your iPad in and out. The bottom of the case is magnetic so the idea is that the keyboard sticks in the bottom and then the top half can lean against it giving you quite a few different angles. You can actually set this into any angle as required and adjust the keyboard against the lean. Nice touch as it doesn't restrict you to use predefined grooves like other cases. You can slant your iPad as far as the keyboard and the magnetic base goes. Let's get the iPad into the unit. Again, I'm totally impressed by the quality. The back is flexible, so it's fairly easy to get your iPad in. And this hosing feels really well made. To be honest, it feels slightly better than the ESR case, which I reviewed in my iPad Pro accessories video. The case opens and closes this way. And it has also got that sleep wake option when you open or close the case. There's a cutout at the bottom for your Apple Pencil, but you can stick it on the top as well 
as there is a notch on the top this is so that you can pair the pencil and even charge it that way and then the keyboard goes in here now let's connect the keyboard according to the instructions you just turn on the keyboard by using this on off switch and then press and hold the connect button for three seconds until the bluetooth light flashes the keyboard should then show up in your bluetooth settings section on your ipad just touch that and that's it the keyboard is connected you don't need a password or anything to pair the device okay let's type something in here That's nice. First thoughts about the keyboard. The quality of the keys feel okay, not premium, like say my laptop or even the Magic Keyboard of Apple. But mind you, those devices cost substantially more. The whole unit is light and the keys have got that nice clicky feel to them, giving you that decent tactile feedback. The size feels slightly smaller, but again, this is because of the 11 inch size of the iPad Pro. I think the 12.9 inch version of the iPad will feel more on par with the other 13 inch laptop keyboards. But that's the deal, right? It's either portability or usability. One confession here, guys, I have never in my decade long usage of iPads have ever used a keyboard case. I have always touch typed, even though it's not totally accurate, I got used to it. So as a challenge, I've decided to type the entire script of this video using the keyboard on this case. And you know what? After a few brief minutes of adjustment, it began to feel natural and I'm totally in sync with it. Even loving the experience if I'm being totally honest. The keys do feel a bit plasticky and maybe having a more premium feel would have put this into a different league altogether. But again, you have to remember that this case costs only 30 bucks and for that you get a totally totally decent and practical setup next let's look at the keys layout one thing this keyboard does offer which even that 300 pound magic keyboard doesn't is have the essential shortcut keys on the top so you have dedicated keys to go back to home search cut, copy, paste, your media controls, and that all important increase or decrease brightness or volume. This is so useful and I can't believe that Apple left it out from their magic keyboard. And you can even lock and unlock the device using this last key. This is so super useful. There's another little party trick up this keyboard sleeve. It's backlit and not just backlit using single color, but it gives seven different color variations. I know the color variations is a bit gimmicky, but it looks cool and I do like it. And I found it nice and useful, especially if you want slightly dimmer tones when you're working in the darkness. You can toggle this feature on via this dedicated button and then change colors using this adjacent button. There is an option to auto change the colors as well, but I think that's more for like showcase on display purposes or amuse your little ones. Next, let's talk about charging that keyboard base. Yes, it has got an inbuilt battery and it needs charging. It's done via this micro USB port on the side. Shame it's not a USB-C, but they do include this charging cable in the box. Luckily, I have the Anchor USB-C dock, so I'll plug this cable into the keyboard and then into the USB port of the dock and then the dock into my iPad. And voila, the iPad is now charging my keyboard. The battery life is decent as well. One full charge, I've got like a week's worth of moderate usage. As a test, I used this keyboard at least two to three hours every day and it's still going after a week. Next, let's talk about usability. How quickly can we unpack this case and get it going? 
So let's try this. Here goes. Okay, that didn't take long. I had to give it a few seconds for the keyboard to make the connection and then it was good to go. One thing that none of the pictures or videos about this keyboard case shows is how to pack your keyboard when folding it with the case. As if you face it upwards, the keys then touch the screen. But you can face it the other way as the back of this keyboard is lined with this nice soft material which also is inside the entire case. And if you pack it that way, then the keys do not touch the screen and it is fine. Also with the keyboard in case, you do lose that wake sleep option as the keyboard interferes with the magnets. Next, let's see portability. Packing the keyboard within the case and using it that way does add a bit of bulk and weight. I think the entire enclosure adds about 600 grams extra to the iPad Pro's weight. You can feel the weight, but again, it is expected from these kind of cases, especially considering the hosing, the magnets in the case and the keyboard. You can actually shave off some weight by leaving that keyboard home, but again, it's not by that much. Then, is this setup usable on your lap? I actually have typed the script for this section by using the case on my lap and it feels sturdy enough. I really do not have any issues and I could definitely go for a long time with the entire keyboard case on my lap. And then this case is totally usable without the keyboard as well. It ticks all the boxes for a case, like we mentioned in our previous iPad Pro accessory videos. It offers decent edge protection with precise cutouts to all the ports. It doesn't cover the borders, thus not restricting that multi-touch gestures. And it's got flexible silicon casing, so it's easy to put your iPad in and take it off the case. Since there are no predefined grooves, the iPad hosing bit does slide off, even though there are these textured bits at the bottom. But closing the flap extension this way prevents that. And then when you rest the case on your bed and watch movies, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who does this, guys. This case stays in place without rolling off. Actually, it stays better than my other cases because of that bigger base. So in summary, the plus points are the cost, the material of the case, the ease at which the keyboard connects, super useful shortcut buttons, and that cool backlight options. The downsides are the keys on the keyboard could have been slightly better quality, and then the way the entire unit works. Maybe having a dedicated slot for the keyboard could have been a better option, but I guess the manufacturer chose to do it that way so it could give you more options and more angles to lean your iPad against the keyboard. So in conclusion, would I recommend this case and would I spend 30 pounds to buy it? The answer is an absolute yes and a yes. See, for the price, I'm really surprised at the quality of the case and you do get decent warranty from the manufacturer, which is a bonus as well. And the keyboard works totally fine with the iPad Pro. I haven't noticed a single laggy moment or connection interruptions. It's simple enough to carry, connect and use your iPad and does offer great alternative if you do not wish to spend upwards of £180 on that Apple smart keyboard or £300 for that magic keyboard. Once again, thanks a lot to EasyAC for sending this unit so quickly. All the links are down below, so please do check them out, guys. That's all for this video, guys. Please feel free to leave your comments down below and let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions about the product, please ask them via the comment section as well. And I do tend to respond to all of them. 
Also, please do drop a like if you like this video and please subscribe to my channel to help me with my YouTube journey. Finally, as always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.